Hey everyone, so I've had a few messages regarding showing how I have a better shell, so I thought I would do a video on that. So before I explain to you what a better shell is, let's at least see what a normal shell looks like, okay? So let's say that um, I'm using Netcat to listen, right? So simply I just want to go ahead and listen for a connection. This simply opens up a port on 1337 for some kind of uh, shell connection to be connected to. I want to go ahead and use my uh, example here, my command injection. Simply just going to hit enter, and this will just connect to my local host using that gap. I'm going to hit enter on there, and we should have a connection made. That didn't work in this case, I need to just kill my, my PHP server and just rerun real quick. Okay, now we should see a connection. Now, if I now do ID, it now tells us my ID. If I now go to say, want to clear my screen, so using control L, that doesn't work. If I want to say, press up to go up and down my command, that doesn't work either. If I want to go say control R to look at reverse commands, that doesn't work either, right? So we're at a bit of a limited factor here, right? We can't do a whole lot, but we can at least execute some commands. That's okay. So before we move on, I want to go ahead and just see what, well, okay, this isn't great, but we can upgrade the shell, but this isn't what I want to do because this is a bit slow and also not very nice. And to have to do this every time, it's just a bit, just not great. And having all this crap is just annoying, especially if you type in say like who, and you want to like mess something up, or you want to delete characters, sometimes it can glitch out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this example. Simply we just do Python 3 input PTY, PTY spawn. This will give us an improved shell, only slightly. Really what it does is it will just give us a slightly nicer looking shell with colors and stuff, but that's pretty much it. We still don't have, say, command, um, command um, substitution, where it would basically just guess what we're trying to say. We can't do control L or control R or anything like that. We're at a loss as we were before. That kind of sucks. Okay, so what can we do from here? Well, you know, as I showed you before, we don't have access to anything like that. We can't say like do um a command completion. So if I do BL, tab, 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 it doesn't work. So how do we go from here? Well, you can actually see here if we just um if we just look here, it actually did kind of fill it in, but it just kind of glitched. And that isn't very helpful. So what I want to go and do is I want to go ahead and use this approach. This approach is way easier, and there is an alternative where you can use sttpy raw echo. I don't like that because that's too many steps it can mess up. So this is my way. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out the shell. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new terminal and just listen fresh. Okay. So rather than using netcat, we're going to prepend it with this. What this basically does is you rl wrap is an inline editor. Basically, what it will do is it will take our input and apply logic to it. So it gives us command substitution, it gives us um, command completion, tab, complete, uh, tab completion, uh, command history, and also lets us use control characters. So I now simply just run this and then run the command again. Now we're given basically the same shell. Go ahead and just kill my, my web server. I've been a little bit glitchy with these tutorials. Okay, now we have a connection. It doesn't look that much different, right? But we have got a few benefits. For example, now I can do ID and now I can press Ctrl L and it closes the screen. Now I can do say LS and do LS, BL and tab, and it will automatically, it will automatically give me what I want, which is nice. Okay, so where do we go from here? Well, let's upgrade a little bit more. So yes, we've got an improved shell, but it doesn't look that nice. So let's go ahead and use the same thing we used before, just to basically make it almost perfect. Go hit enter. Boom. And then now what we can do is we can now do basically the same. Now we have the pretty the pretty um terminal with all the colors, and we can also have the, the advantage of having command completion, history, etc. If I do for example control R, I do like who am I? I say yeah, you did who am I before. If I do say um BL, it's gonna say yeah, you did this. I can then do say cat alt period. It should then all fill in my commands. Like this and then now it works sweet if i then go ahead and uh, do other stuff it will work so that basically rounds off the video simply what it is is it's an improved shell and this works even better in windows too in linux it's actually not as good as windows windows gives you a nice little prompt by default however windows um account linux does not so each to their own but really it's the case of just having the best shell possible for the best experience I hope this video was helpful take care everyone like comment subscribe take care bye